live at noon. If you thought it was safe to put away the snow shovel, think again. Old Man Winter is once again rearing his head in our region. And that means slippery roads, fender benders, and an early end of the school day for a lot of students. No matter what your destination was, chances are it took you a little longer than usual to get where you had to go this morning. And we're not in the clear just yet. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get things started with WFMZ's Jackie Ferris. She's off Route 100 in Brightingsville, Lehigh County, with a look at conditions there. Jackie. Well, things uh, look a lot better than they did this morning. I tell you what, the cars are going by uh, without any real problems. We knew this storm was coming, but I don't think a lot of drivers thought it was going to pack this much of a punch this early. Going to Mass this morning, it was really treacherous. When I turn my turn signal to turn onto Applewood Road, the car kept right on going the other way. For drivers like Ann McGinley, this latest snowfall came faster than expected, delivering an early morning surprise. I went out at 7 o'clock, there was nothing. When I went out at 8 o'clock, I couldn't believe how much snow we already had. The snowfall made for a messy commute in some parts, but once things warmed up, it was all good for drivers. I didn't see any wrecks, nobody sliding around, everybody was driving decent for a change. The snow is expected to start up again for the drive home, and that has some wondering if they're in for a repeat performance. One trucker we talked to says he's going to sit this one out. I'm not looking forward to driving through this, so I'm just going to take my 10 hours off now. If you don't have to drive later on today, I've got a tip for you. Stay home, stay warm. If you want to know what the roads are like, what the weather conditions are like, just sit on your couch with your coffee and your clicker and turn on Channel 69 News. We'll tell you what's going on. For now, live in Brightonsville, Jackie Ferris, 69 News. Thank you, Jackie. This snow also made tricky travel this morning in Berks County. Our coverage continues with WFMZ meteorologist Mark Shannonberger at 2nd and Court Streets in Reading. Mark? Yeah, ACL, the snow is still falling here, but it's very light and conditions have certainly improved since this morning. We were out checking out what people were doing this morning. We found some people uh, brushing off and shoveling out their cars. Uh, the roadways were, uh, they were, of course, snow-covered and slick enough to uh, have this BARTA bus slide into a tree. Now, there was nobody hurt in that, but road conditions earlier today seemed to increase the foot traffic in Redding. As you can see, a lot of uh, the commuters were actually walking to work this morning instead of taking the bus or taking their car, which was obviously a good thing. Now, road conditions have improved since. Majors are mainly just wet at this time. Secondary roadways still have some snow on them, but they are passable and with more snow on the way later today. When you leave your house, make sure that you leave with some patience. Live from Reading, I'm WFMZ meteorologist Mark Shannonberger. Back inside you, Hasio. Thank you, Mark. Now let's see how traffic is moving around the rest of the region. WFMZ's Vern Anderson is in the 69 News Traffic Center. Vern? All right, thanks very much, Hasiel. Taking a look at the roadways around the valley, we do definitely have improving conditions, although if you're heading out, you're definitely going to want to play it safe. If you're on the uh, northeast extension, the speed limit's been reduced to 45 miles per hour between 476, that's between Mid-County and Mahoning Valley. Checking in with some of the other uh, comm centers around the area, Street Road in Warminster has been reopened after an earlier accident but they say in Bucks County, road conditions continue to be pretty bad throughout the area, although for now, they're improving. Montgomery County, same story, slick and slippery. Berks County, four or five earlier accidents in Redding have been cleared up. Uh, they said throughout the county at the height of the storm, they just had a ton of accidents to deal with. Lehigh County, we've got a slow and steady stream of fender benders, but otherwise, please be careful if you're heading out onto Lehigh Valley roadways. Northampton County, Palmer Township, 25th Street at William Penn Highway near the Palmer Park Mall. They do have a power outage in that area, so you're going to want to avoid that area if you can at all. Some snow emergency plans are going into effect. You can check out that information on our website at WFMZ.com. That's the latest from the 69 News Traffic Center. Haciel, back to you. Thank you, Vern. Round one of the snow may be behind us, but round two is right on its heels. Meteorologist Matt Broderick joins us from the boardwalk with a preview of the forecast. Matt. All right, Hasiel, thanks very much. Yeah, this first batch definitely in the process of winding down. It is still snowing in a good portion of the area. It's just a lot lighter than what it was. There is still some pretty good snow falling, especially in the southeastern parts of the viewing area, where, boy, we've picked up four and five inches of snow down into parts of Bucks and Montgomery counties from that morning uh, batch. That first batch, kind of an overachiever, at least in parts of the area. I know some of you are sitting there with a coating 
to an inch on the ground, especially farther north and west. But most of us an inch or two, some areas with three and four inches this morning and some portions of that Bucks Montgomery area down toward Chester County, four and five inches of snow. Here's the good news is that this is certainly starting to wind down as it moves toward the north and the east. Now, you can see that next batch there back down to the south and the west. That's the next area of precipitation that will make its way in here later on this afternoon. So this is just round one. There'll be a little bit of a lull in the action, and then I would think between about 3 and 5, 3 and 6 o'clock, that next batch starts to come on in, and some of that snow will come down heavy at times. So while we see a little bit of a break through the afternoon, late today and tonight, it will come back in full force, and there will be some heavy snow with that next batch. So we need to be aware of that. There are, of course, slick spots, as Vern told you, on some of the side streets, and all roadways will become treacherous starting tonight. 1 o'clock, a few flakes left over, 3 o'clock, cloudy skies. Again, there could be just a bit of light snow and flurries, and then here comes the snow back around 5 and 6 o'clock, and it will be heavy at times. We'll tell you how much to expect, and of course, your sixth day all coming up in detail in just a few more minutes. For now, back inside to Haciel. All right. Thank you, Matt. Of course, 69 News will stay on top of the wintry weather all day long. You'll find information on closings, delays, and road conditions on our website, WFMZ.com. And remember that you can get up-to-the-minute updates on the navigate the roads, Matt. Yeah, and uh, certainly things improving now, Haciel, as this first batch in the process of winding down. It is still snowing lightly or moderately in some parts of the area, but over the next hour or so, we are going to see this little lull in the action, so roadways getting a little bit better, except, of course, for those side streets, as Vern showed you before. Low 30s as of right now. I think we'll top out in the middle 30s as we see some of this snowfall move away from the region, and we get ready for round two, which arrives later today and continues right through the night tonight until about midnight as that area of low pressure will ride in from the south and the west toward the north and the east. So obviously a disruptive snowfall. Uh, certainly for some of you, it's already been disruptive. We've seen, generally speaking, one to three inches, but there are some areas reporting four and five inches. That's especially in Bucks, Montgomery, and Chester counties. A little bit in Berks, too. Three and a couple of four-inch uh, marks in Berks County as well. So a little bit of snow on the front end here. Snow at varying rates for the next several hours. It'll taper off at times. It'll be very light. It may end for a little while, and then we get ready for that next batch to come in from West Virginia and Western Virginia, and that'll come in late this afternoon and tonight. That will have generally just snow. Some of it will be heavy at times. I think at this point, between about 3 and 5 or 3 and 6 o'clock is when that next batch starts to come in. And again, some of that will be heavy. So the roads will go downhill and slippery travel and snow-covered roads on all roadways are expected for tonight as that second batch comes in. Up to totals a little bit to 6 to 9, although some of us still in the 3 to 6. And we'll show you that new map here in just a second. So here's that first batch as it came in. No question, it was a little bit of an overachiever, at least in parts of the area. Again, most of us in the Lehigh Valley north an inch or two, but Burks, and then again, Bucks, Montchester, three, four, five inches. So that starts to wind down. Little break. Here comes the next batch coming in. That's got snow, ice, and rain with it. But in our particular region, we do just expect some snow. Not out of the question, a little bit of sleet could mix in the little ice pellets, but mainly just snow for this particular event. And you can see here, things really winding down. So it'll be a nice little break that we need and get those road crews out to those secondary streets. So a bit of a break and a lull in the action until later today and then certainly tonight as that snow picks up in intensity. Once again, good look at it here. You can see things really winding down in parts of Berks County, although from about Reading East into the Lehigh Valley, we're still seeing some of that snow. And look at this out in Jersey. Boy, they've really been hit with three, four, and five inches there as well. So some of these locations off toward the south and the east are going to pick up the most snow with this particular event. Good portion of central and southern Berks, southern Lehigh Valley, right into Bucksmont, down toward Philly, Jersey, six to nine inches. We still think about three to six here for the northern and northwestern parts of the area. And you can see at three to six and six to nine inch line right through the valley. I think a lot of us in the Leah Valley end up with that six, seven inches. And again, those higher amounts south and southeast, it wouldn't be shocking to have a foot come in here or there in parts of Bucks and Montgomery counties. That system pulls away. Tomorrow we get to see some sunshine as we all start to clean up. Snow at varying rates, but the next batch of heavier snow comes in between about, let's call it three and five or three and six o'clock. So at or after the rush hour, and again, roads will be treacherous tonight as that snow comes down heavy at times on the order of an inch plus per hour 
with slippery travel. It all ends around midnight or so, and then we'll see clouds breaking for some sunshine Thursday, breezy at 34. Friday, a few flurries and a snow shower could coat the ground. Could be an inch or two Saturday with another clipper system. Haciel, we'll send things back to you. All right, Matt, thank you. Call